Today we are going to take a bit of a risk. We're going by train down to Manchester and back. We're going down in first class and we're coming back in standard class. But what's the risk? Well, we're going to be traveling with Trans Pennine Express and they haven't exactly covered themselves in glory over the last few years. Lots of cancellations, lots of delays, but there have been improvements apparently, including the introduction of a new West Coast first class menu. So I thought we'd try out both services, first class and standard. I do hope you'll join me. We're here at Edinburgh Waverley. Let's get on board. This is our ride for today. It's a class 397 and Transpennine Express call these trains Nova 2s. They look very similar to the LNER Azumas. Here we go. Check out first class, shall we? Oh, I'm surprised. Those seats look a lot more comfortable than I was expecting. Well, we're from right outside of San You're from way away, aren't you? Well, yeah. Little bottles of water already laid out for us on the tables. These seats actually look a lot better than some of the seats being installed on new trains in the UK at the moment. They're leather trim, nice padded headrest, cloth maquette. Hmm, might be a bit firm. Let's see what we think once I'm sat down. A plug socket and a USB port between the seats and a very sturdy armrest. And we are off, bang on time. It's 10, 11 in the morning and our journey down to Manchester is gonna take three hours and 15 minutes. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with these first class seats on Trans Pennine Express. They're a little bit firm, but then all UK trains have firm seats these days, don't they? But I like the, the leather wings to rest your head against. And there's that uh, quite plush cushion for the back of your head. Yeah, big thumbs up from me. And the ample table folds up and that lets you see how much legroom I've got underneath. I can really stretch out there. That's perfect. And they've rebranded the first class service. It's now called the West Coast Kitchen. Now, up until recently, the first class service on a Transpennine Express train usually consisted just of a coffee and a biscuit or a very light snack. However, on the West Coast, they are up against Avanti West Coast. And on Avanti West Coast, you get a full hot meal on most journeys. So it's interesting that they've now upped their game and introduced this West Coast kitchen in direct competition to Avanti West Coast. I think we're about to be served breakfast. All right, let's have a look at the West Coast kitchen menu. Oh, pretty pictures. Full breakfast, and that looks to me like a Scottish square sausage, a lawn sausage. That's interesting, might have to have that. For later in the day, the food includes roast chicken dinner at the weekend, cauliflower and potato curry, macaroni cheese, pork and caramelized onion sausage roll. And a selection of hot, cold drinks and alcohol, beer and wine. That is a massive improvement on what Transpen and Express used to serve in first class. I'm actually salivating. I'm really looking forward to trying that Scottish lawn sausage in first class. Oh. 
So our first service on our way to Manchester, packet of crisps, nice black coffee and that bottle of water. Well here's to a nice relaxing trip down to Manchester. Decent cup of black coffee. Okay let's just sit back and watch the border scenery fly by. Isn't it a shame that even though it's July the clouds are still in the sky. Breakfast is served. Let me know what you think of this Highland breakfast in the West Coast kitchen on Transpennal Express. Well, the breakfast might not have looked as appetising as it does in the photograph in the menu booklet, but it was absolutely delicious, and that Scottish square sausage was really well worth the wait. But the star of the show, and what really surprised me, was that frittata, that mixture of omelette and potato. Absolutely delicious. I could manage another one of those, I think. Well, I did say I was taking a risk, but that was an absolutely perfect journey with TransPennine Express today in their first class compartment. And that food was actually really quite delicious. I have to take my hat off to the host. The service on that three hour journey was absolutely exemplary. So we have got to go back in standard class. And of course, I'm not expecting it to be anywhere near as comfortable a journey. But before we go back to Edinburgh, there's one thing I want to show you here in Manchester. Undoubtedly, this hotel is one of the most magnificent looking hotels in the whole of the UK. Well, doesn't that look fantastic? It's the Midland Hotel here in Manchester, and it's one of the famous British transport hotels. And that's why I'm here in Manchester to do another review for my series on the British transport hotels. So watch out for another video coming soon reviewing the Midland Hotel here in Manchester. But for now, let's head back to Edinburgh in standard class on TransPennine Express. Will our luck still hold? Or are we going to find ourselves delayed or cancelled? Welcome back to Manchester Oxford Road train station. It's the following day and the departure boards are saying that our TransPennine Express train to Edinburgh is on time.
Okay, we're on board our train to Edinburgh, we're in coach A, in standard class, and today we're sitting in seat 9, table seat I believe. Oh, the infamous Thainsa Sophia seats. At least they're topped with a bit of leather around the head area. Cloth, padding, and of course, rock hard base. risk paid off two absolutely flawless trips there with Trans Pennine Express and I'm actually really quite impressed with their upgraded first class service and even though those seats in standard class are amazingly uncomfortable the views on the way back more than made up for it now in terms of cost I bought my tickets the day before so I couldn't get cheap fares so I paid 95 quid for the first class down to Manchester and 50 six pound standard class back up here to Edinburgh today. Had I had the foresight to buy those tickets in advance, there would have been about half the price. So about 45 quid first class, 25 quid in standard. And actually, for what I got, that would have been really acceptable. I think Transpennine Express seem to have upped their game. Perhaps that's something to do with the fact they've been taken back into public ownership. I don't know, what do you think? Have you been on Transpennine Express recently? Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Until the next one, remember, there's always something to see. So get out there and find it. Yeah.